Hey folks, Korax here. Made quite a few very nice setups in my new Kefen light. But this one is very close to my heart. Take a look. We will be using 400 gauge stainless steel mesh today. You could use anything, but typically 400 and 420 gauges are the best for our wicks. The coil in use is 2.4 mm ID and is around 1.5 ohms. For this size of coil, you will need roughly a 3 cm wide piece of mesh. Length of the piece is immaterial. Now if there are any creases in the piece, worry not, just flatten it out with your fingernail. Like so. Then burn it off. This has two purposes. One, it removes any foreign material or residues of machine oil. And two, it initiates the oxidizing process which is very important for a mesh wick. Thereafter, give it a thorough wash. Water over the mesh also helps. I will come back to that shortly. I use a little hand wash soap. You may use some dishwashing liquid as well. Now remember, converting this piece of mesh into a wick has two important steps. One, correctly rolling it and two, oxidizing and quenching it. Let me explain the steps further. Firstly, fold inwards one end of the piece, the rolling side, and this end will be the outer end of the rolled wick. Nicely crease it. Like so. Remember, the fold is inwards. It will remain inside the rolled mesh. Now use a toothpick to stress curve the start of the roll. This process will be done on the other side of the piece, opposite side of the creased end. Like so. Now roll the piece of mesh over the toothpick. Tip, initiate the roll equally distributed over the length of the piece. Do not make it lopsided. Like so. Then remove the toothpick. Notice the folded end is inside. That side ends the roll, not the other way around. Now roll it tight. And then test it against your coil. If the wick is still larger in diameter, roll it a bit further to make it tighter. Now test it again. It should go in, but with some resistance. It should not be freely moving within the coil. If that happens, then inverse roll it. That will increase the wick's diameter. Now remove it for the next steps. 
This is a very important process. Douse the wick with some e-liquid. Ensure that the entire surface is coated. Then fire it up. As the fire dies, drop it into a glass of water. Quench it. This has two purposes. One, it forms an oxidized coating over the mesh, making it non-conductive, just like a piece of cotton. And quenching also makes it suction friendly. Just like the stem of plants, the rolled mesh now pulls fluids through it. Wipe it and repeat the process three times. That's it. Remember, three times the charm. Wipe the wick dry and voila, your SS mesh wick is now ready for use. Now mounting this wick is pretty easy actually. It is similar to how we set up our cotton wicks. And because of that oxidizing and quenching process, this has become non-conductive. It will not short. However, two things will need a little bit of patience. One, since the mesh tube is slightly rigid, we will need to form it before putting it into the deck well. And two, every step we will need to pulse it and check that it is firing evenly. Let's do it. Remember, it should go in with some resistance. Now check the ohms. It shouldn't vary by much and shouldn't be shorting at all. Hours remain the same as before. Let's pulse it. If the glow is not even, hot spots, strum the coil and keep repeating. Eventually, it will work out fine. All good? Let's proceed to the next step. To tuck the wick down, we need to form it first. Pass a wire through the wick and stress bend it. We are looking for a S shape. Here we go. Now remove the wire and check the resistance once again. Seems to be fine. Time to pulse it again. Same process, strum it and it should work out perfectly. Now let's size it up for the deck. I will snip them off roughly at 1.2 cm each end. Like so. Now tuck them down. Nothing fancy here, just press it in. Well, 
टाइम टू ट्रूली टेस्ट योर स्किल्स ए द रेजिस्टेंस हैज ड्रॉप्ड ए लिटल बट नो इश्यूज इट वॉज एक्सपेक्टेड Let's see how it holds. Juice it up. This is a 50/50 PG VG blend. And the moment of truth. Bingo. We did it. Time to fill up the tank and assemble everything up. Now what does it read? Nice. The same 1.45 ohms. Let's vape. Mm. 1.45 ohms firing at 16 watts. Amazing. It's a smash in the new Kefen light. Rocks, try it. Cave and light mash. For some amazing flavor, your e-liquids will not taste better than this. Hope you like this tutorial, friends. Bye for now, and remember. Vaping is a healthier alternative and we have the right to make that choice.